What happened to Hitler's limousine after World War II? Near the end of the war in Europe in 1945, a U.S. Army sergeant found the car sitting on a flatbed rail car in Austria. After a short firefight with German soldiers, he secured the car and drove off with it. Initially, it was believed that the car was that of Luftwaffe commander Hermann Göring. The car was shipped to the U.S., where it was eventually put into storage. In the mid-1950s, a car collector from Toronto bought the car and drove it around for a few years before selling it to a Montreal-based collector, who eventually offered it to the Canadian War Museum. War Museum librarian Ludwig Koschei was able to successfully identify the car as that of Adolf Hitler and not Hermann Göring. The car remains on display at the War Museum to this day.